out in the Papa Junk shop. Well, I mounted my little diesel on a frame with a 63 amp GM alternator. And thought when we go to the engine shows, I'll use it to charge my battery. Uh, just for fun. And occasionally I may need it around here to jump start something. So I know you won't be able to hear me if I get much closer. So I'll take you over and set you up. And I'll go in and turn the microwave on, which will be running off the inverter. And you can see how it responds. So let me get the setup on the tripod. Hopefully you were able to see that meter all right. Well, I just threw this thing together kind of quick. Um, I didn't show any of that. I made a little frame out of square tubing that was left over from the Coleman crate. And <clears throat> made a little control panel. has a uh, 100 amp shunt in behind here. And this is a... Uh, I think it goes to 30 volts DC and 100 amps. This is like the idiot light you'd have in your car. And this will turn <coughs> the uh, alternator on and off. So, in the up position it's off, which I know is backwards, but due to poor engineering, the connector on the switch hit down here so I didn't leave quite enough room so it's backwards but doesn't matter <clears throat> still all works good so it's a 63 amp alternator and I just used a pair of uh, jumper cables for leads and on this side you can see it's pretty simple I had bought this at a yard sale or something, flea market, for future use, and the future is here. It worked out great. It dismounts on one of the four holes that's down there. And I experimented with some pulleys, and <clears throat> that pulley seemed to work the best. I put that little bit bigger pulley on there, uh, thinking that it's closer to what would be on a car and the faster you can run the alternator the better the cooling of course but when I run those batteries down in the camper a little bit and it wanted to charge the 63 amps with uh, that big pulley on there she was really struggling the black smoke was just a rolling and it was actually slowing down so I put that size back on and it seems to do okay. <clears throat> now when I had it running out there, that was, I should have measured the RPM but I didn't. That was less than half throttle I guess you'd call it. So I think it's going to work out alright. It didn't seem to overheat. 
I let it run for, I don't know, probably pretty close to an hour out there. It got down so it was only charging like four amps. And I got two of those uh, deep cycle batteries on the, on the camper, so I think it'll it'll work out pretty good. Other than being noisy, I really like the thing. So, just a quick video of uh, what I did with it. And uh, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.